Hello again, brothers and sisters. I've got another timely message that I want to put up. And you can take these to the Lord, this one and the last one. Take them to the Lord. Pray about them. Don't just dismiss them and think, oh, that's, you know, that's not going to happen. Well, we've heard dates before. We've heard warnings before. We've heard urgent before. But I'm telling you, one of these days, it's going to happen. The first fruits will be raptured. And many will be left behind. Because they did not care to get close enough to Jesus. So, I, I have to share this one too. And I pray you'll watch it. I'm not going to play any of it. I'm just going to kind of give you a little short rundown on it. It's 13 minutes and 22 seconds. It is not that long. It is on a channel called The Kindling. The Kind... Kindling. Kindling. All right. The description box says, This video was on my Facebook feed last night. And it's dated June 24th. I've found both of these being shared on Kathy and Dan's channel on brighteon.com. So I clicked on the link, came to YouTube, so I could share them with you. All right. Man, my nose is freezing from the air conditioning, but my body's not. All right. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. This video was on my Facebook feed last night. This is one of my one of the most powerful return of Jesus posts I've seen and I agree. Christus message from the Lord which is a vision and he talks to her during the vision needs to be shared. Please forward to friends and family. He is coming. And we all must be ready. There's no date setting. It's just he's coming soon. And he tells her. See she's. she. Uh, apparently the Lord had told her to start walking. And she's not an exercise person. She's not a big girl. She's an average sized person. But he told her to start walking. Well, it gives her time alone, see, to talk to him. And she was praying in the spirit the whole time of this one walk, all right? Up to the point she sees Jesus at a distance. She goes into a vision as she's walking, been praying in the spirit, and she starts to visual, see a vision of Jesus ahead of her. He had a white robe. She knew it was Jesus. But she didn't like the distance between them. I believe she said she heard him say, run, or, or she felt the need to walk faster or to jog. I don't remember. But she started jogging. She still didn't like the distance between them. And then she, she heard him say run or, you know, not like heard that figure say run. But I think more like in her head, but I'm not positive on that. So she starts running and, and it's like she can't catch up to him. And she starts crying and saying, don't leave me don't leave me behind and it, it gets very intense but you know what sometimes that's what it takes to reach people and she finally catches up to him and he takes her by the hand and he gives her a message about how it is his wish that every person would be taken but how so many he will not even look at that they call out, Lord, Lord. 
but he will say, I tell you, I never knew you, or something like that. I don't know you. Uh, anyway, they'll, it means they'll be left behind. Now, there's nothing, no mention of a second rapture, but a lot of the rapture messages don't um, talk about being, getting our glorified bodies, coming back. There, Jesus just wants everybody to get closer to him. I mean, wouldn't it be better to go ahead and go the first time? Do you remember the scripture that where he said um, the, the, the harvest is plentiful, the fields are white in the world, the, but the, uh, or the laborers are few, but the harvest is plentiful. There's just not enough people that will be going in the first rapture to come back and harvest the wheat, basically, is how I'm seeing that now. Didn't used to understand it. I just thought it would be normal human beings that would go on mission trips and whatever to spread the gospel, right? I mean, isn't that what we, we all thought? That that's what that meant? Well, there's close to, let's see, is it 8 billion, close to 8 billion people on the planet? <laughs> and not all that many true born-again believers. There's a lot of people under the Christian title, like, dare I say, Catholic? Not that some Catholics aren't born again. There are some, but, but most of them aren't. Most of uh, the Presbyterian, now there are two kinds of Presbyterian. My friend was telling me there's two different kinds, and the one kind is real easy believism. The other kind is more evangelical. Because that program I took, Evangelism Explosion, was started by a Presbyterian, probably the PCA, Presbyterian, something conference i don't know what the c stands for of america that's the ones that's more follows more along the bible okay so then you know you've got these other denominations maybe methodists maybe episcopalians they pour the water over the baby just like catholics they have altar boys just like catholics um Anyway, the point is, they call themselves a Christian, but they're not born again. They don't preach being born again. They just preach like Joel Osteen. Out of, out of, they'll take a, a couple of scriptures and make a 40-minute message out of it, or 30-minute. And there's some songs and some money gathering and socializing, and, and that's it. Well, anyway, the point is, in this video, it's, it's pointing to the fact that people are not trying to get close enough to Jesus. And he was showing her that um, how not being close enough to him is going to get people left behind. They're going to say, Lord, Lord. And he'll be basically saying, I don't, truly I say, I don't know you. And that is not going to be a good feeling that day. And it could be very, very soon. So I pray that you will not only watch this, so you'll have the understanding I'm talking about, but also, put it on your Facebook, if you do Twitter, if you can email it to anybody and just write a little paragraph of uh, a couple sentences, not long. Don't make it long. It's a little summary of how it made you feel and how 
you you love them and you want to see them go to heaven or whatever. Whatever you think, ask Jesus to help you word it. If you, you're struggling for words that you think would be the most meaningful that would cause them to click on the link. Okay, I'll leave it at that. I plead the blood of Jesus over... Wait a minute, let me... Let me um, I don't think I said the title. The, the channel again is The Kindling. K-I-N-D-L-I-N-G. The title is Urgent Warning... Jesus is coming soon. Don't be left behind. And then there's a quote, a colon, forward from Facebook, Krista Alicia. So I guess if you went Facebook and typed in Krista Alicia, you'd find it on there too, but why bother? You got it right here. So, give it a thumbs up, right? That'll help. And sharing it will help even more. Okay, with that I'll say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over the um, myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every one of you and all of your devices and your internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.